treat you good. All right, Jared here at rockarazzi.com and 987fm.com. To my right, the guys in Temper Trap. Thanks for joining me. Appreciate it. Doing? Cool, cool. All right, so listen, first of all, what do you think of the penthouse? We, up here at the station, we got to find out. Is it cool? Is it cool? It is cool. It's got lots of cool photos. Obviously, this one man here, one of my faves. I have no idea who that guy is. He, he looks a lot like Elvis. Yeah, it is Elvis. Yeah. What floor yeah. are we on? We are on the, I think we're on the seventh, seventh floor, right? Somebody is cooking up something really funky on the fifth floor. I know. Just I know. little. Well, there are people that actually live in this place. And when you say someone something funky, um, is it like prop, uh, like a prop nineteen kind of thing? Something funky, man. Okay. Just okay. little something. Awesome. Anyway, listen. Congratulations on on the success of the band so far, and the tour is going well, right? Um, so tell us a little bit about tonight. What are you going to be doing? You're going to be meeting with some of the fans. You're going to be performing a little bit. Yeah, we're doing a, a little acoustic session, which is uh, something that we kind of do. A, a, not how am I how am I going to put this? We do them quite we're often. Well we're well practiced, yeah. so for hopefully, it's gonna, fans. yeah, for special <laughs> fans. So look out, all you special fans out there, for an acoustic set coming to you. Right. And so, just in case you guys are wondering where the accent is from, this is not a British accent because everyone gets confused with Australian and the Brits, including myself sometimes. But what is it about? Australia that is kind of producing these bands lately. I mean, there's Silverchair from ACDC to um, uh, to Wolf Mother. You know, if there's if there's something in the water that's going on there, right? It's just got a really good um, kind of music scene in most of the major towns, and I think um, you know there are a lot of venues that people can play in, and and we kind of try and nurture that a lot. Um, and yeah, it just seems at the moment that. You know, Australian bands are getting a little bit more attention than they have in the last, you know, 10 years or so. Mm -hmm. In describing your sound, because um, when I'm researching the band and, and going on to Wikipedia, I know some of the influences are Radiohead and U2. Is that accurate? Yes. Those two are. Yeah. Uh, Is there anything else that, that you can add to, to that list? Um, well, for, for, you know, our, our debut record, um, with those two, amongst others, and then... Uh, TV on the radio, Arcade Fire, uh, Massive Attack, uh, you know, vocally, Prince, um, Curtis Mayfield. Do you guys remember the last thing you stole? <laughs> I haven't stolen anything. Mm. Towels, actually, from... Uh, we've got a shower on our... Well, actually, we don't have that bus anymore, but on this one, um, we've been fortunate to have, uh, have a shower on the mm -hmm. bus. Yeah. But there's like 12, 13 people on the bus. Everybody's towel is white, so nobody mm -hmm. knows. Do you know what I mean? And right. nobody wants to catch. No, what of course not. Person has. I mean, look yeah. at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I don't want to end up hearing you like him. Right, right, right. right. So we just steal towels from like venues and like hotels and stuff. Uh -huh. I I have been. I've been yeah, stuffing them. It's a, it's in my a group group effort. Yeah. 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 That's as that's as that's as heavy as we're getting. Because you've got dude. some kind of crazy look on your face that there's something going on. No, I, yeah. what? Is he, he something? He's the sneak. I've, the I haven't. No, no, I haven't. No? I, I don't steal, man. Just towels. You don't, you don't steal anything, you think? Just towels. Okay. You don't yeah. want to. Customs is gonna not allow you back in the country. I can see what's going on. <laughs> Do you guys think about legacy at all? About how you want the band to be looked at or remembered, maybe five, ten years down the road? Does that come into your daily mindset at all? Uh, I mean, I can't speak for everyone, but. I th I'm guessing that I think we're just concentrating on we've all we've done is make one record and, and play some shows and, and to get a legacy there's a that's a long way down the path and so you just kind of like concentrate on we want to make a good second record and if we can get through that um, and just keep touring that'll be the main thing and we'll get to the end of that and think about record number three and the, if we're good the legacy will look after itself and if we're not then everyone will forget and it won't matter. I can't let you guys go without talking a little bit about Halloween because we're approaching um, and what is it called in Australia? All, all, all devils, all saints night, something like that. No, it's we call it Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th I, th I, th I think there's, I think there's a technical. T there is. A, I mean, listen. There well, it Australia's not really that big into it. No, I, mean, I was going to ask you. It's not, a, it's not a big kind of thing in Australia. Mm -hmm. um, maybe for little kids, but it's not like everybody gets involved. <laughs> not like here. Well, I did go into a Halloween shop today actually, and I was okay. trying to. In my head, go. Would it be possible to get the band down here to? I don't. I'm not sure if they'll do it, but the, we've got a show on Halloween, okay. and I think it would be cool to dress up. And I, I looked at fox tails and different things uh -huh. like that, so we'll see what happens. Fox. But I don't know. I guess I think it would be elaborate. <laughs> fox tails. Go all out for Halloween. Uh, One fox tail. <laughs> hey, we're the Temper Trap, and we're Rockaholics. Well, I'll treat you good.